Good day students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying our digital school and also seeing our videos and doing the homework given. Myself, Mrs. Jamuna Chodia, teacher of standard 2nd. Today's subject is English 1 of the textbook. Lesson number 1.8, reading time. Page number 14. Now tell me children, are you missing your school, your classroom, your friends, your teachers? Yes, I know all of you all are missing. And we are also missing you too. So, today we are going to recall our classroom things. Now tell me children, what do you see in this picture? Yes, it is a picture of our classroom. And what things you see in the classroom? Let's see. Now, see the See this picture. It is a picture of a blackboard. Now, what you do? What the teacher does on the blackboard? Yes, she writes with a chalk. All the things she teaches in the lessons. Now, see the second picture. Which picture is this? Yes, it is a picture of a projector. Now, you know what is the use of a projector? The teacher shows you short films, songs, stories on the projector. Now, you know where the teacher sits? Yes, the teacher sits on a chair and a table is beside her to keep her things. So, it is a teacher's table. Now, tell me children, which things you need to study? Yes, the main thing that you need to study is the books. So, these are the books. Now, what is this? Yes, when you enter the school, the classroom, where you sit? You sit on the bench and a desk is there to keep your th belongings like book, pen, pencil, ruler, a compass box, etc. So, this is a desk and a bench. Now, how you enter your classroom? With the help of the door. Now, this is a door in the classroom. Now, what are these? These are the charts on the soft boards which the teacher puts of different topics. So, these are the charts. Now, what is this? These are the windows from which fresh air and lights come in the classroom. Now, there is a cupboard in the classroom to keep your things and other material of the teacher. So, this is a cupboard. And what is this? Yeah, this is a dustbin. You throw all the waste in the dustbin from your classroom and keep your classroom clean. So, I hope you must have recalled all the things you see in the classroom. Now, we are going to read the lesson 1.8 and you too also have to read after me. So, children, you have to read after me. 1.8 reading time and there are pictures in the lesson. You, too, you have to read the word of the picture. This is my classroom. There is a big blackboard on the wall. A teacher writes on it with a chalk. The teacher has a table to keep her books on. She also has a chair to sit on. She is busy the whole day. We have benches to sit on and desk to keep our books on. Our classroom has a door and two windows. There are many charts on the walls. The charts display children's work on various topics. Our teacher also shows us short films, songs and stories with 
the help of the projector it is fun to watch the films there is a cupboard near the wall we keep our material there there is a dustbin in the corner we keep a classroom clean so children i hope you must have understood how to read with the help of the pictures given in this lesson so you too have to practice at home the way i have read it out now we will see some hard words from the lesson you have to look and say after me see the first one classroom c l a l s r double o m classroom the second one is board b o a r d board the third one is table t a b l e table the fourth one is chair c h a i r chair the fifth one is benches b e n c h e s benches the sixth one is windows w r n d o w s windows the seventh one is cupboard c u p b o a r d cupboard the eighth one is dustbin d u s t b r n dustbin the ninth one is material m a t e r r a l material and the tenth one is projector p r o j e c t o r so children you have to read and write these words three times each in your notebooks now we will see some meanings of the words now see the first one projector now what is the meaning of projector a machine for showing films or images on a screen now what is the second one material now what is the meaning of material things needed for different activities and what is the third one busy now what is the meaning of busy having a lot of work to do so i hope you must have understood the meanings also now you have to practice reading at home bye till now and don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel